Let's bring in this man looking at his laptop here. Do you see how when I brought that element in, because I previously was clicked on the element to the left, the woman, this new element that I brought in has actually bumped the whiteboard to the right. So I'm going to drag that on the timeline over to the end. I will make this guy smaller here, move him over, go into the properties. I want to flip him so he's facing the other way. Okay, I like that. I'm going to bring the transition time down to zero, pause time down to zero, and the animation time down to one. Click the check mark. Okay, so I flipped him now, and his camera position is going to be right there. I will check the camera position right there. Let's go back up into the library and type in laptop. Let's click on this happy woman. So right now I want to show two people working on laptops. Presumably they are working on a video scribe project. I want to show both men and women. So I'm going to now go into the properties for this lady and flip her. Bring the pause time and transition time down to zero. Bring her animation time down to one. Hit the check mark. Set the camera position. The reason I chose to flip them both is because I wanted to show me as a woman over on the right side of the frame with a man in the middle and another woman on the left. And I wanted the woman and the man to be facing inwards rather than outwards within this whiteboard here. So let's see how this plays out. Hi everyone. My name is Ali Saunders and I want to teach you how to create great whiteboard animations using VideoScribe. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the white board here because I noticed that we have a pause and the hand goes away off screen for a second before it continues to draw. I'm also going to bring the animation speed down to one second. Hit the check mark. Let's just preview. And I want to teach you how to create great... I want this lady to be shown until the end of my sentence. So I'm going to click in the properties and I'm going to have the pause time go to one second and the transition time go to 0.5. Let's just play that How again. To create great whiteboard animations using VideoScribe. Let's bring the draw time for both of these two elements up and... I want to teach you how to create great whiteboard animations using VideoScribe. I also clicked the zoom at and off because I don't like when it does that. I also want to have some text come up that says video scribe while you hear the audio of me saying video scribe. So let's just, we're in the text icon. Let's type video scribe in. Let's click on the F here to see what other fonts we have. And I'm going to use Helvetica. So I've clicked on Helvetica. I'm going to press the check mark and import Helvetica. And I'm going to click the check mark here. So let's move the text up and make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to move this lady down and over clear and relock her position. And then I'm going to click on video scribe and lock that camera position. Now I'm going to go into the properties, change the pause time and transition time. And I'm bringing the draw time down 0.5 of a second for the text there because sometimes when text is written out, if it's a shorter word and you have the animation time go too long, it doesn't look so good as it's written out. So I made the animation time 0.5 of a second for that. Let's bring the pause time up to one, hit the check mark. And next we're going to work on the second scene that's going to play out in this video scribe promo.